Hello, and welcome to OSINT, Fun with Open Source Intelligence, brought to you by Pentester Academy. My name is Jamal ben and I will be your guide and instructor in this fun and exciting course. So, a little bit about me. Well, uh, I used to work in the financial sector, and I was previously in uh, a CSER team. Uh, I current I hold my SANS GCIH certification. I have previously spoken at Black Hat Abu Dhabi. Uh, the also spoken at the Indian Institute of Technology in Gawadi, and uh, spoken at uh, Task Monthly. Uh, Task stands for the Toronto Area Security Clutch. It's an event there, as well as a number of other smaller uh, private uh, events and such. Uh, I also blog. Uh, and you can find my musings and thoughts at InfoSec Mindstorm. Uh, I guess you could say I'm most fairly well known for my work with Google custom searches and uh, the fun you can have with them. So I, I guess I should probably say in case it isn't obvious, uh, I love Google <laughs> uh, and uh, Google searches OSINT and uh, pen testing, they tend to fall under areas I, uh, I tend to enjoy quite a bit. So I can't wait to show you and uh, have you on this fun and exciting course. Uh, so we'll briefly go over the course outline and some of the different areas uh, the course is broken up into and how we'll go through them. So we'll start off with talking about OSINT, what it is, uh, why it matters. We'll briefly cover gray areas and ethics. Uh, and uh, we'll go into, I, I guess, something I call information is everywhere. So understanding information, what you give out, uh, how much you give out, what you don't give out, everything tells us something. So an information by itself is useless, but when it's put in the right context through the right filters, it can tell you all kinds of things. So I really enjoy that, and uh, I, I think you will too. Uh, after this, we will do an exercise using OSINT to build a profile and gather information on yourself or another uh, target. And uh, you can feel free to use me as that target if you need to. The next section of the course goes into tools and engines. Uh, and we will cover uh, exciting things like mining social media, Google custom searches, one of my favorite uh, topics. Uh, doxing, and we'll also cover some other really cool tools that are incredibly useful, and briefly cover building your own tools as well. So some of the tools we will cover are Maltigo, uh, Creepy, uh, uh, Foca, and other EXIF tools that gives an idea about uh, metadata and pictures and such. Now this is not a comprehensive list, but these are some of the major tools we'll be covering. The course is not all about tools, but these are some key tools and they do make your life significantly easier. And at the end of this, we will do an exercise where you will build your own Google custom search engine and uh, for targeted OSINT searches. And I will give you sites to start you on your Intel gathering uh, exercise. The next section of the course is scenarios and cases. Uh, we will go over different cases and how OSIN can and can be used and how you can defend against it too. We'll also cover pen testing, more specifically using OSINT as part of your enhanced reconnaissance phase here. We'll briefly cover counterintelligence. Uh, you know, just like information is everywhere, you have to remember people can and do exaggerate and lie too. And sometimes this can be to your advantage and you may have to do the same thing. We'll also cover a few specific cases like a fake BBC news site that began to spread misinformation during the Charlie Hebdo attacks. We'll also cover a few scenarios uh, like attacking the stock market. Uh, General Petraeus and Clinton, that scandal. 
the Volkswagen emissions scandal. And we're also going to cover defenses and something I call disposable search engines, which is another concept. And lastly, we're going to do an exercise with all the information you've gathered, the techniques, the tools, and the information you've learned this course. And you're going to use this information uh, to gather intelligence on a target of your choosing. Passively, of course. So what are the key learning objectives and what do I want uh, you to get out of this course? Well, I want you to understand what OSINT is. I also want you to understand why it needs to be part of your toolbox and how you can use it. Uh, it's a mix of being an art and a science, more of an art. But there's a certain amount of structure involved there, and at least knowing how to look for stuff. So it will also provide you with a bit of a framework and a guide uh, in how you can start off investigating. At the end of this course, you will be able to do OSIN searches. You will be familiar with different tools, and you will be able to build your own uh, search queries and custom search engines. So what do you need for, in terms of software and hardware for this? Well, you do need a computer with an internet connection, uh, regardless of whether it's a Mac, a Windows PC, or uh, Linux. Most uh, tools will run on all these machines. You do, however, need permissions to install and uh, download software. Uh, Kali Linux is an option. It does have a number of tools pre-installed, so that can make things easier for you. And, oh yeah, you need your imagination, because really, you're only going to be limited by your imagination here. And that's all for now. Uh, so thank you, and I can't wait to see you on the first uh, on the first uh, class. So thanks, and bye now.